There are over 20 million alcoholics living in America, and of these, half suffer from cognitive impairments ranging from mild to severe. Unfortunately, these deficits can persist even with sobriety and have debilitating long-term effects. So, what is the link between alcohol and the brain? How does alcoholism affect the morphology of the brain? What structures change as a result of persistent alcohol consumption? To begin, let's first quickly go over the mechanism of how alcohol affects the brain. The intoxicating agent in alcohol is ethanol, and it happens to be the link between alcohol and neuronal damage. When alcohol is consumed, the ethanol in it is converted into toxic ethanol metabolites. The post-translational modification of these toxic metabolites in conjunction with the damage of cellular proteins contribute to neuronal damage. While the mechanisms through which alcohol affects the brain and causes brain damage is understood, the morphological changes are contested with varying results and findings. Gray matter is composed of neuronal cell bodies from neurons and is typically found superficial to white matter within the brain. Its main functions include muscle control, sensory perception, memory, decision making, and speech. In studies conducted with CT, MRI, and DTI, gray matter decreases have been noted across most regions in the brain with one study noting a 12% loss of gray matter in comparison to controls. White matter in the brain is made up of the axon portion of the neuron and connects neurons throughout the brain. White matter lies below gray matter and its white color is a result of the myelin surrounding the axons which helps with signal propagation. In multiple studies, white matter has been found to be decreased, which contributes to an overall decrease in brain volume and weight. A study went further to understand the effects by conducting a study where alcoholics abstained from alcohol and the results found that white matter volume could be reversed. However, new studies are still trying to prove the recovery of white matter is fully dependent on abstinence. Another area of the brain implicated by alcoholism is the ventricles. The ventricles are part of the ventricular system that has cavities responsible for producing cerebrospinal fluid, CSF. Using computer tomography and MRI, studies found that cerebral ventricles were enlarged in alcohol abusers, some citing as high as 42%, as well as the presence of increased ventricular CSF. And interestingly, it was also found that changes were greater in women than in men. A follow-up study looking at abstinence found that the lateral ventricle size decreased by 5-6% to 6 in just one month. Lastly, the frontal lobe is implicated as a result of alcoholism. The frontal lobe is situated at the very front of the brain and is responsible for carrying out complex mental processes. The frontmost part of the frontal lobe is the prefrontal cortex, which is linked to personality and decision making. Regarding prefrontal cortex volume changes, one study found the prefrontal lobes decreased in size by up to 11%, while also noting that abstinence had no impact on prefrontal cortex. As recapped, alcoholism affects the brain as a result of the interaction between ethanol and brain tissue. The four most affected areas are the gray and white matter, and the ventricles and prefrontal cortex. An increase in volume is associated with the ventricles, while volume decreases were found in the other three areas. Conclusions about abstinence reversing damage are conflicting as studies found mixed results.